Hey guys, I figured I'd do an updated uh, folding at home video here. Um, this is a completely different system other than the power supply from the last video. Um, this one's a dual Xeon based computer here. Um, I have uh, 2695v3s, um, so that's a total of 28 cores and 56 logical cords or cores or threads, whatever you want to call it. Um, one thing I found right away is folding at home seems to be limited to 32. So that's only using about half, I mean, just a hair over half. And then after it factors in the two graphics cards, it only gives me 30. Um, so that's kind of a bummer. I don't even get to use use all of it, and I haven't figured out a way to go beyond that because it even shows that I only ha it says I only have 32, which is completely bogus. Um, there's been a few things I've ran across that just don't seem to get along with that many. Um, but you'll see, um, it says CPU 30 here, so we got 30, 30 cores folding, just over half of what I actually have. Um, right now it's about 90,000 ppd. Um, it fluctuates some, I've seen it as high as about 110,000. Um, I'd say more on average it's around 100, 105. Um, as usual for the video, it wants to be less. Um, and we got two GTX 980s, not three this time. I actually sold off two of them cards like probably almost a year ago now. And I was just using one, and then with a new build, I decided to get another one again. So I'm back with two, but I don't quite have three. Um, but on one card, that's doing a Core 21. That's currently at 421,000. Um, I've seen it as high as in the 460s. Um, just kind of depends once again on what it's doing. And the second GPU has a core 18. And that one's only at 328,000 currently. So that one's quite a bit less, but it's on an 18. The other one's on a 21. Um, the 21s are, are definitely quicker. Just the luck of the draw and whatever you, you end up with. Um, I mean, still 840,000 PPD. Not bad. I mean, I was getting close to a million with three cards. Um, both of these get stuck on a Core 21. I'm pretty damn close to a million two at times with only two. Um, 599 watts the watt meter sounds. So we're right around 600 watts. Um, that's only with two GPUs, I think. With three, I was around 700. But I know the Xeons are, are using some more. Yeah, I mean, 600 isn't bad because just sitting at idle, I'm about 250 watts doing nothing. So, that's not bad. I know you can't see it, but just take my word for it. It's right over there, 596, 597, right around there. And to keep in mind that the ZNs are just over half used. I'm almost kind of using one, not both. Um, and you can see I'm running super hot. Um, GPU 1 versus GPU 2. Um, kind of having a heat issue, which I never had before. Um, I definitely need some more airflow. I do plan on water cooling the Xeons, but I switch GPUs around too much and they just don't stay around long enough to do water cooling. It's just not worth it, um, especially with the new new generations that aren't far, far off. Complete ways to do it, so I'm not um, I did stick a fan on it, blowing down just to see what it would do, and it made a huge difference. My temps dropped, and my fan pretty much went down to 59% instead. Um, right now we're at 86C, which is what I set it at for the limit, and the fan's at 83%, which is a little loud for my likings. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're good until like 98 or something, so we're not even close to that for just folding at home for a little while here. Um, 1408 megahertz on the GPU core clock, so I do have a little overclock, but I am being thermal throttled pretty much. Um, the other one is 1434, and I can go higher, but the only way I can go higher is increasing that power limit. I'm at 110 and not 120, but then we just thermal even more, it just gets too hot. So Heat is pretty much my limiting factor at the moment. 
Yeah, we're at 86, and GPU 2 is 69 degrees, so quite a difference there, as usual. They're so close together. And sure, I could space it out more, but the problem is I use my, lose my USB 3 front header if I start if I add a third card or move a card down, the card overhangs that USB header and then I can't use it. So I don't want to do that either. Um, yeah, oh, here's the CPU cores. There you can see kind of which ones are being used and which ones aren't fully. What do I have? What does it say overall? Let's see, it says my overall CPU load, yeah, 46%. Is that right? 49%? Yeah, from that graph, it looks like more, but. That's what the cam software is telling me. I'm not sure I agree with that. <laughs> huh. And GPU load 84. 94, dumping around. And, yeah. yeah, even this cam software, I think, caps out at like 16 cores, it only shows me. It doesn't do any more than that. So, there's some little issues with having this many cores, but oh well, I love it. Yeah, I just figured I would do do a little update. Now here, all my numbers just dropped. 399,306. Hmm. Yeah, there you have it.